Well, you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at fixing uh, windows 10 boot up issues now if you've got this particular type of issue where it just continually tries to load uh, at startup like this and it won't get to the welcome screen and then log on to windows 10 then this video is for you maybe you're getting a spontaneous reboot where you basically get to this level and then it will shut down and restart again and this is generally sometimes due to either drivers or programs that you've installed or an update that's gone wrong somehow. Maybe you're getting a black screen of death, which is something like this as well that you're getting. If you're getting any of these sort of uh, issues, then uh, you're going to need to uh, try to fix it. Now, there's a couple of things that you can do, and I'll point them out. So first off, you're going to need to uh, have a Windows disk available to you. Now, whether you've got that as a, a, a DVD or whether you've got it as a USB flash drive with the Windows on there, then you can boot to that device, okay? And we're going to do that right now. So we're going to keep tapping F2 uh, to get into our BIOS. Now, your BIOS may be different, and it may need a different key to F2, uh, but generally it tells you right at the very big bottom of the screen when you're booting up, you normally get uh, the number or letter or, or key to push. So it'll be like a F2 or delete key or something like that to get into your BIOS. Now, your BIOS may look different. You may have a UEFI BIOS, uh, but they're all work in the same way it doesn't really matter uh, as long as you've got um, this particular type of uh, BIOS then you can go to the boot tab they'll all have a, a boot up tab where you can go to now once you're in there you want to bring up your CD-ROM drive or your removable devices i.e. USB flash drive or something like that in that list to make it the very first bootable device you can also temporarily change the boot order by normally pushing F12 or something like that. It depends on what you want to do, uh, but it doesn't matter as long as you can boot to that um, Windows disk or uh, USB flash drive. So I'm going to hold the shift key down and move this up by pushing the plus key, and then I'm going to push F10 to save. And then push Enter to save this configuration, and I'll go back into here once the um, repair has been done. Now I'm going to push the enter key to boot up to my uh, disk or USB flash drive and this will then boot up to that device. Okay so once we get to this stage what we want to do here is push next and then we don't want to push install windows we want to go to repair your computer. Click on that and then you have this option here. So we don't want to continue to Windows 10 we want to hit the troubleshoot. Now you've got a couple of options here. If you've tried to get into uh, safe mode, uh, then you can try that first and see if you can rectify your issue. You've got system restore available here. Now if you've tried system restore and it's failed, then you need to move on to something more extreme. So the options, the, the very beginning options are start up repair, which is this tab here. And if this doesn't fix your problem, you can come back into here and then try system restore and if that doesn't work then you can go into uh, command prompt so it just depends on uh, what you want to do uh, and what you've tried so if you've got this far the next step is to go into command prompt now in my previous video we was talking about reg back and how we can use registry backups to restore our computer to a working state uh, so it's made a backup of that uh, registry and we can now revert back to that registry backup uh, so we can then get the system back up and running. Now you can see here we've got an X uh, for our drive, which is not correct, but that's okay. So what you need to do here is try to find the uh, Windows drive, and uh, we're going to be doing the C colon first, and then you want to type DIR and see if you can see the Windows directory inside here. There is no Windows directory, as you can see, so C is not the drive. Most of the time it's D, so we're going to try D, and now we're in the D drive, so you took D colon, and then we can type DIR, and there we have our Windows directory. So from here, we can now start to try to uh, fix our computer. Okay, so next up, what we can do is clear the screen here, so we can type CLS. This is not essential, but it's nice to have a nice clear screen so we can see what we're doing. And then from there, we need to get to that config folder, which I was talking about, which is in my previous video, which is your backup, uh, reg backup folder. So what we're going to do is type CD 
to navigate to that location backslash windows and then backslash uh, system32 because that's where it was located and then backslash config and then push enter and that will take us in this location now we can type dir and this will show us what's inside that folder so there you can see reg back is there as well so if we want to from here we can make a backup of this area before we start to uh, copy stuff across so what we need to do is change the files inside this location here uh, take the files from the reg back and put them into this location here to fix the issue so what we can do is we can make a directory by typing MD and then we can call this say backup and that's now made a, a directory called uh, backup and now we can copy so we're going to copy all files by using this command and then we're going to go backup and what that's going to do is copy all those files and put them into the backup folder that's just so in case just in case something goes wrong or we want to revert back later on we can do so by uh, reverting back by using the files inside here so now we can change the directory to our reg back folder so we're going to go cd which is change directory reg back which is the actual folder so now we're in the reg back folder and if we type dir we can see all the files inside here these are the files that we're going to be using okay uh, and to change over to so what we want to do here now is we want to say copy and then we're going to do star dot star that's all files and then we're going to do space dot dot push enter then you'll get overwrite all the files I'm going to say A for all of them uh, so we want to do A push enter and it will start to copy all the five files in there okay and now we can type exit so now we can turn off the computer and then we can restart the computer to boot up now that may take a bit of time to put those files back so we're going to click turn off okay so if you've made changes to your BIOS you want to go back into your boot area here and make sure that that is changed so we're going to move up and put hard drive back up to the top if you've made changes in your BIOS if you've made changes on your boot order from pushing F12 then you won't have to worry about that it will go back to normal but we're just going to quickly put our hard drive back up here so we don't boot to our flash drive again and push F10 to save that click yes so now we've done that it should take a bit of time to uh, put those files back and boot up to the desktop but just be patient don't turn the computer off once you get to the welcome screen your problem should be fixed and there we have it back to the desktop so hopefully now you're back at your desktop and you are now uh, using a working computer so let me just show you what we was actually doing there so I'm going to go to file explorer here and then this PC C drive Windows and then system 32 and then config this was the area we navigated to in the command prompt and you can see that I typed MD backup and that created this uh, make directory made a backup directory as you can see and it copied all of these files into there so all these files from here ended up being backed up into this folder and then we went into the regback uh, area and copied all these files into here so you can see it's important to have up-to-date backups of uh, these areas here now in my previous video I showed you uh, how to create a backup folder uh, with regback and also erunt so now we're here so let me just show you uh, regback this is the regback folder it's nothing to do with Windows that was that program now I could have navigated to this location here and use these files to back up or uh, to restore from um, as well because these were the backups that I created previously with that program and it's the same thing with um, eruns 
Uh, I can also go here, which is the eRump folder, and you can see that I had options here available to me as well, which would have allowed me to restore from, and I could have gone to this location as well. And uh, basically that's it. So as you can see, this is the uh, file here, application file. You see, with this program, you can restore uh, registry backup. So we're not gonna do that. But basically I could have navigated to that location and done that myself. So that's how you can restore your computer if it's corrupt, the registry is corrupt, or you get in a continuous uh, reboot loop caught up after an update or an installation of a program. If you can't get into safe mode and you've tried system restore, this is your last ditch hope to get that system back up and running, okay? So I hope this one helps you out, guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos. And also, if you have got any problems with computers or any video requests or anything like that, you just want to join the community, then head over to the forums. That's the place to be. And also, if you use Facebook and you want to join my Facebook fan page, then hit the like button over on the Facebook fan page, and that will give me a little like there. Anyway, thanks again for watching guys, have a great weekend and I shall see you again in the next video. Bye for now.